Is that the final fleecy box? The actual real fleecy box of glory? Alright, light up everything. Light up everything. Ah, crap! Go away, spider. I don't like you. I don't like you and your KV brethren. Stop! Stop! Stay back! Be gone, demon! Let's uh, get rid of them. Oh, that's a cave spider spawner. Dang it! Ah! No! No, 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 no. Go away, go away, go away. No one likes you. No one likes you. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, no! No! Everything is horrible forever! Run! <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, I'm safe here. I'm safe. It's all good. Where are all these zombie noises coming from? Ah! <laughs> is this the troll part of Troll Tech Facility? They're in the walls, I say! They're in the walls! Oh, hello. Why is there stone brick here? Oh, are you serious? Back at the entrance! Well, I know my escape route now. <laughs> nice. So where are those zombie noises coming from then? Ah, whatever. Alright, uh, health is back up. Hopefully not many more of those little bastards have spawned. No, go away! Stop that! Stop! Be gone! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! Stop! Go away! Go away! I don't like you! I don't like your family! I don't like your kind! Just leave! Leave and never come back! <laughs> oh no... Why did it have to be spiders? Cave spiders at that. Alright, well uh... This is going nowhere fast. At least I managed to get at least one more of those spawners lit up. But I need to get that one lit up. That's my goal. Run in! Place torch! Run away! Where did you come from, skeleton? What? There are no skeleton spawners here! Oh, you little bastard! I hate you! My name is Inigo Montoya! Killed my spider. Prepared to die. There's something along the lines of that. Is this a glitch or is this supposed to happen? It's randomly light. Go away. Stop. Alright, let's just get rid of this. That's not how it works. Oh, you're inside there. Alright, goodbye, case spider spawner. I won't miss you. Goodbye, regular spider spawner. You shall not be missed either. Ah, finally getting rid of all these spawners feels good. Like revenge. Which happens to be a dish best served cold. Serves 12. Oh, this, this fleecy box is a spider spawner instead of a chest. What's going on there? Spider spawners don't even look like chests. Jeez, whoever made this one really messed up. Alright, cool. Any more spawners? Looks like I'm pretty much done. Step 8. The completed fleece box is placed on the pad and our employer is notified of its completion. Who's their employer? Wait, who employs these people? Do I want to know? Alright, cool. Well, that does it for that, I guess. What's in here? Kevlar body armor. Ooh. Projectile protection. And yellow wool! Yay! Victory! That was fairly seamless. I like that. That was a fun dungeon, despite all the uh, cave spider madness at the end. And now I know exactly how to exit this place through that little tunnel that I happened to dig earlier. Drop! The base. Alright, well that was really fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh yeah, by the way, I meant to mention, uh, those Isles of the Dead re really reminded me of We All Float from Waking Up. I neglected to mention that earlier when I was actually playing the dungeon, but I wanted to say that. But yeah, that was really fun. I enjoyed that, and now we have some delicious yellow wool 
for placing on the Victory Monument, or sorry, the Wool Monument, that we don't know where it is yet, but I'm assuming it's at intersection 3 through one of these two areas. Alright. Awesome. When did I get a block of iron? When when did I pick up a block of iron? I'm so confused. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright, sure. I'll go with it. Let's just store all this stuff. Block of iron, yay. Turn it into iron ingots. And take the rest of my iron. Store it up. Beautiful. So I consider that a huge success because we got everything we came for, meaning loot and, well, uh, wool. Let's get chests, expand my storage a bit. Oh, wait, have my potatoes grown? I beg the question. Have my potatoes grown? No, not yet. They will soon. All right, I'm going to finish storing this stuff, and then I will get back to you guys when I'm done with that. Okay, next, I think I'm going to go to Remnant Village, because this place seems uh, the most likely to have good loot, as well as maybe additional bookcases for my enchanting table, which I desperately need in order to enchant uh, that unenchanted diamonds, I mean, iron sword that I have into something beautiful, as well as maybe, I don't know, some armor? Eh, whatever. I'll see when I get there. Right, get, get out. Stop that. Bridging with half slabs, best idea. Okay. So let's just complete some of this glass path, and look at that. So we've got some snow here, a little bit of arctic theme. Very nice. Haven't found a lot of rec replica monument pieces lately, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll find one somewhere. And luckily in 1.5, snow layers actually do slightly lift you up, I believe. And they can be walked on, which means... Skeleton head. Okay. Which means no special snow traps anywhere. Skeleton heads. Another rack for a fireplace. This is cozy. My last words by Molly. Whoa! Ugh, I had already enchanted myself a pair of iron boots, but these are awesome. Feather falling three and protection one. I like it. And silk touch one and unbreaking three for ice. Alright, Molly's last words. Why did it have to happen? We were the remnant, all that remained, but we succumbed to the horrors of Dread Sky. They tried to get me, but I was a true remnant. I lasted. There are more than I thought we had. This place, my home, nothing remains except them. The skeletons? I don't know. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry for stealing your stuff, Molly, but it's a necessity for the survival of humanity. Ooh, nice use of the new snow level stuff in order to make this. I like, I approve. We've got ourselves a pre-made bridge here. Oh, hello, what does this say? Remnant village, population, dash, forward slash, dash, backslash, backslash, dash, backslash, forward slash, dash. All right, I see. <laughs> Thank you for explaining the population. Are we in a snow biome right now? We are, frozen ocean biome to be exact. Anything down here other than just rocks? No? Alrighty then. Let's go on this bridge. I like bridges. Why is there random snow here? I don't know. Ah! No, 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 no! <laughs> uh, okay. I probably should have been a little bit more careful. But <laughs> that was kind of funny. Let's just use this teleporter to get back. Ooh, I like the ice underneath. Is that a fle that's a fleecy box. All right, well I know where the wool is now. Maybe I could possibly see intersection 3 from here. Does this area lead to intersection 3? It might. I mean, it's obviously one of these two. Troll tech didn't lead anywhere. But if it's not this, then it's going to be the other waterfall or just fall place. Didn't actually mention waterfall explicitly, so it looks like Unless anything else loads, it's going to be at... Oh, wait. No, it looks like it's going to be out of this place. There's some islands leading over that way. Okay, cool. So this leads to the next intersection. That's nice. Uh, let me store some of the stuff. Like... This and this. And this. Oh, and let me grab some potions, too. Because those are important. Like 
that. Alright. Excellent. More blocks, maybe? Ah. Uh, I keep remembering things. Stop remembering things. Alright, that's it. Cool. Let's head back to the Remnant Village. Village of those that remain. I don't care about you rotten flesh. Be gone! <laughs> I can see the grass. It's beautiful grass. So, population is a bunch of random dashes and slashes and dashes again. So, I'm not going to take that as a good sign because generally you want your population to be a number. Otherwise, it's hard for foreigners to read. Lots of sideways logs. Is this like a totem pole, maybe? Cool. Alright. Cover to this is blocked with uh, ice. Pro tip, break ice when there's no block underneath it. It won't turn into water. It's a lot cleaner. A lot less messy, that is. Is this thing completely filled with ice now? Okay. There's a spawner in there, though. Whoa, hi there. Buddy. You're a zombie with a skeleton head. That is weird. Yeah, you stay on there. Dance. Dance, pretty boy. Dance. Alright. Bread, cobblestone, stump. Ooh, enderpearl. Nice. Actually, some pretty good supplies. This is why I came here. For the loot. I did it for the lols. That ice is going to be annoying, though, if it keeps up. Because I don't want to have to clear ice out of every one of these doorways. Oh, God, I'm going to have to clear ice out of every one of these doorways, aren't I? Oh, I guess that's why he gave me that Silk Touch pick, didn't he? Yeah, let me go back and grab that so I can use it to get some of this ice without having water all over the place. That's that's a good idea. Seems just to kind of be annoying, though, although it's an interesting gameplay element. I like it. I'm not sure exactly why he implemented it, but I guess it sets atmosphere? I don't know. So let me go store this loot, and I'll be back with the ice pick.